Hi, welcome back. I hope that you're doing well. A short while ago, I received a really nice package from a subscriber of mine, and I'm going to link her channel down below. She does do YouTube videos, so if you want to check her out, her name is Lynn, and she's a really sweet girl. She sent me a palette that she didn't use. We had talked about it over um, on Instagram. I had done, I had done, I had did a open box and showed all the little things that she included. So I'm I'm going to be doing a look with the NYX Butt Naked Palette here, and I'm also going to use the Mineral Veil, actually this is called the Veil Mineral Primer by Hourglass. This is a sample, and I believe I should have enough left to use it on my face. This was included in the package that she sent me with a bunch of different um, little samples, so I've been enjoying using them. So let's get started. I'm going to pin the back or the the back, the bangs of my hair back so that I can do my makeup. Now I have my mirror down below here. You I think you can see a little bit from the top, but this is as low as I can get it in this setup here. Okay, so I have washed my face. I put my regular most moisturizer on well over an hour ago, so it's soaked in. It's feeling a little dry today, so I think that this primer is going to really help because when I used it the first time, it really made my skin feel very soft. I'm getting it on my blouse here. It sort of comes out like this white consistency, and then when you rub it on your face, the color just goes clear. I can't believe I got it on my t-shirt here. Well, I'm glad that when I put my makeup on I don't wear very fancy clothes because that is one of the reasons. So I'm just getting whatever I can out of this little sample and I am really thinking about purchasing some of this over the weekend. It's by Hourglass. It's a great primer. And I know quite a few people here on YouTube that use it and really enjoy it. It's a little on the pricey side, but I think for the amount that you use, the product will last a long time. And that's something that I really appreciate. And I'm also a person that if a product costs a lot and works, I'm going to really try to save just to get the product uh, or just go out and get it because I believe in using products that help the skin and help with the application. Okay, now I've rubbed it all over my face and now I'm going to use my Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. This has been the foundation that I've been using most every day in the summer. And even though the summer is ending, I live in a climate where we haven't caught up with that. I'm going to be using my uh, Clinique foundation brush and I'm just going to start in the areas that need coverage most and that's my cheeks and also my chin which I'll get to those are the areas that get red still have this darn cold and I don't know when it's going to go away but it's driving me crazy because I'm supposed to start um, a new medication that's an injectable and uh, I cannot start it till this cold goes away because I can get very, very sick. So if you sound a little raspy, that's the reason. Now a lot of times when I do use the Vita Lumiere Aqua, this one, I do use my hands. But today I felt like using my makeup, my foundation brush. Then I go down here with my little double chin. I'm going to go down a little bit. Now for reference, and in, in case anybody's watching this and is interested in trying this foundation, in this formulation my shade is B30. Now I don't know what it would be in the cream formula because I heard that you can use different the the uh, Vita Lumiere Aqua in the cream formula might be a different shade for you than the liquid formula. And then I just go back and I kind of um, blend it really good with my fingers. And my hands are clean. I know, I know that like I just, 
I have this cold, but I'm not touching anyone else, so. And because my lips are really chapped and hurting, I'm going to put some more of this Neutrogena Lip Balm. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of set the powder and try to figure out what brush I want with my Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. My color is in medium. And I'm just taking a little bit onto this antibacterial brush uh, by Sephora. And I'm kind of going in the areas that I get a little oily. I'm not going to go on my forehead because my forehead has been getting rather... Um, dry. It's mostly like the nose and the chin where oil will break through. Okay, so let's get started with the NYX Butt Naked Palette. I'm going to open it up to the eyeshadow section and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put an eye base on. And I should have taken that out before, but I didn't. I'm sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to be using the 24-hour color tattoo, the new one by Maybelline, and this is in the Barely Beige. And I know some people have been comparing this to one of the paint pots. I don't remember the color, but I'm sure somebody can tell me what color it is. I really enjoy the color tattoos. I think they make great bases. They also make... Uh, just great shadows if you just want to use these too. And I'm just putting it all over my lid just with my fingers. Okay. Then I'm going to take this shader brush by Sigma and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this really pretty purple. It has a bit of a, a sparkle to it. Okay, and I'm going to put some down right on the lower part of the lid. And then I'm just bringing it up into the crease. Just like that. And how I did that is I just pat and go across and pat and then just kind of keep bringing my brush up and right when I feel my um, bone there the um, I forget what bonnet bone it is I'm sorry I'm gonna stop now this one I put a little bit more less color and I like a little bit more so I'm gonna go back right there and when I feel the brow bone and I feel where it starts like down here. That's not the brow bone. The brow bone's up here. But just when I feel, start to feel this bone here, I forget what it's called. I'm so sorry. I stop. Now I'm going to take a blending brush. This is just one that I picked up at Target. And I'm going to blend out this harsh line right in the crease. And do it for the same, the same for the other eye. like that. Now I'm going to take this Sonia Couchette brush and this is a, I think she called it um, a crease brush and I'm going to go in to one of the gray colors and because I did a sparkly color here I'm going to do it with this matte gray color. I'm going to pick a little bit up on the brush and I'm going to tap it off and then I'm going to go right on to the crease and do that like windshield wiper motion. Now I did not go over here, I went right over here if you can see that. So I don't want to go too far out this way because that's going to drag my eye down. And I'm going to just do the windshield wiper. And now I went into the crease and because I have sort of hooded eyes here, I'm going to extend that up but we're going to be doing some blending 
and adding another color onto the brow bone so it'll be just fine. Now this look I'm doing, I would use this anytime to be honest with you because I like a, a rather bold eye. I'm not afraid of doing more of a smoky eye during the day. Now I'm not going to use it to go to a grocery store, but if I was going out for lunch or something or going out for the day, I, I it wouldn't bother me at all. But if you um, like more of a bold eye at night, then save this type of look for um, an evening look. Now I'm going to take this shader brush, and this is just one of those um, ones by um, Target. And I'm going to pick up a pink color here, and I'm trying to decide which pink I want. I think I'm going to use this pink here, and I'm sorry about the glare there. Um, I should have thought to tape something down on that mirror. I'm going to pick that up and then I'm going to go onto the brow bone, but I'm just tapping, just like that. Now you can also take this pink color and put it into the inner corner of your eyes. But because I had the procedure with the plugs put in for my Sjogren's, I don't like to put any makeup right in there. And if you have sensitive eyes, I wouldn't recommend that you do that either. I know it's a big thing to do, but we really have to watch, you know, our eyes uh, and the health of them. Okay, now that I put that pink on there, I'm just going to go all over and take this blending brush by Sigma. And this was the F40. Is that F or is that E? I'm sorry, that's E. And I'm blending it. Just blending it all. And make sure that you use a clean brush because you don't want it to look muddy. You just want to blend it. So first start at the top and then just kind of blend that all together so that everything just seems seamless. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this brush and this is a, a MAC brush and it's a 252 uh, SE. I don't actually know what it's used for, but I'm going to take this cream and this white there on the top of the palette, and I'm just going to kind of go like this on the side of my eye. And I know it looks crazy right now, but there's a method to this madness, or to my madness. <laughs> Taking a little of each color, and then I'm putting it down like that. And then I'm going back, and I think I'll take a different blending brush, another one that's clean. This is a good one. And I'm just blending that out. And the reason I put that lighter color there is, is I want to get rid of any dark color that has maybe gone down here in the process of blending. And if you blend it really good, you're not going to even see the white and the like cream color. You, it's going to look more like a highlight. Just like that. Okay, so there are the eye the eyeshadows. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put, and I didn't take it out. Or did I? Did I, did I? I'm going to use a cream liner, and I did take it out. And I'm going to use the Physician's Formula. And these are called Shimmer Strip strips. I don't know why they're called shimmer strips because they're not shimmery, but oh well. And you can take the black or you can take the brown or you can take the purple. And I think because I love purple so much, I'm going to take the purple color. And I'm taking this brush by Sonia Kushek. It is actually, and did I get purple? Yeah. Um, it's actually a concealer brush, but for me it's too small for concealer, so I use it for an eyeliner. Now I'm going to slightly pull that eye, and I'm going to do a nice line right on the top line. I'm not winging it out or anything, just going all across the top, just like that. And I'm not making it very thick, I'm sort of between thick and thin, right in the middle. And if you can get away with not stretching that eye, then don't stretch it. But because I need to do that a little bit to help the process of lining, that I do that. 
and I know you know a lot of people say don't tug on your eye and I try not to and I put when I put my eye cream and such I tap very lightly but there's sometimes that I just have to pull on on the eye now what you can do is you can also do a wing but for me because I have the sagging and and the um, what do you call it the the sagging here in my eye the hooded there we go it's hard to do a wing eye that really shows nicely and I don't want to do something that's too bold I'm just not in the mood to do that okay so that is the top lash line now I'm going to go back and I'm going to take a very small brush that's actually an eyeliner brush from the antibacterial kit by um, Sephora and I'm going to take that glittery purple that we picked up first which is that one that's like right here and I'm gonna go on the bottom lash line and lightly line it just right to the middle and the reason I don't go all the way in is I don't want to close my eye up too much but I do want to define it I'm sorry if this video is going to be a long one, but I will try to maybe speed up some of the parts of it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that, so if it's long, I'm sorry. Okay, so I just went really right where the pupil starts. Then I just kind of look over my eye, check it, make sure it's okay. Now I'm going to go with this spoolie that I have and I'm going to brush out my eyebrows and then what I've been using for um, my eyebrows is I've been using this um, NYX caviar and bubbles palette and I have a brush that I bought from Sephora if I can find it <laughs> and it's actually a lip brush but it works really good for me to do my eyebrows. And I'm going to take with this one the two darkest colors and kind of to combine them just a little bit on the tip of the brush. And then I'm going to go over into the areas of my eyebrows that need a little filling in. Not too much, just a little bit. And for me, I need filling in like right here. And I might fill a little bit in over here. And this is something I've just started doing. I still use a, uh, the Milani Easy Brow. I find that's a good product too. But I just wanted to give it a try. I see a lot of, um, of the gurus and beauty YouTubers using powder um, eyeshadow to define their brows and I wanted to give it a try. Okay, so I did that and then I'm going to go back with the spoolie and just comb through. Now I'm going to put my um, curl my eyelashes and then I'm going to take mascara and the one that I'm just using right now is the Mega Plush Volume by Maybelline. It's not a favorite of mine, but it is something that I tried a couple times, didn't like it, and then sort of went back using it. So it's not perfection, but it'll work, put it that way. And I'm sorry if I'm looking down so much, but I need to see my mirror to put on my makeup. While I'm putting my mascara on, and I've talked about this before when I've done uh, other videos, I like to just sort of um, look around my face, make sure that there's nothing that I've really missed or needs to be highlighted or 
fixed up and one thing that I would like to do is I'm just going to take a little brush here this is just um, it's actually a concealer brush but I like the flatness of it and I'm going back into the NYX palette and I'm going to pick up the white color tap it off and then I'm going to put just a little bit right here in the middle of my eye and what I do is I put the color down first and then I go back and just kind of blend it just in the middle section and what this does is it sort of let me do it and then I'll explain it adds a little brightness to that center and I feel with my hooded eyes it just does something to open them up more and if you are going someplace really fancy or you really like glitter you can take a more um, shimmery color and place it down right in the center here but don't go too high it's just right here and don't go all the way across okay so my eyes are done my face is done I could put more mascara on but uh, we don't have a lot of time and I don't want this video to be longer than it already is so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my palette that I have my favorite blushes in I'm going to take this brush and this is something I picked up at TJ Maxx it's a Liliqui, Liliqui and it's very nice it's a, a Taclon uh, hair uh, so it's a um, not a synthetic it washes really nice and it's very soft and I love to use it for blush and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my favorite colors that I've been using a lot in the summer and that is the Hello Sailor Fleet Fast and that's a satin color if you can see that I'm gonna take some of that onto the brush and I sort of start on the back of the apple and then go up and what I like about Fleet Fast is that it really goes with so many different eye looks and then I kind of like push the color in and go up then for a little highlight, I'm just going to take a little bit of Orgasm by NARS, and we've all seen that. And I take the tip of it and just go along like that. And then I'm just going to go on the top of the cheekbone. And that will be my highlight. Now you can use um, bronzer, but I really don't feel like using it today, so I'm not going to. But if you want it, you can do that. And then because the eyes are pretty bold, I'm just going to go in for now with this color by Tarte. This is actually called the Pure Optic Lip Gloss. And the color, reading glasses, where are you? The color is Shimmery Raspberry. So you can find a nice raspberry color. I think that goes really pretty with the plums and the grays that we have on our eyes. Put that all down. I tried not to go into the outer corner because I do have that irritation. But that is the look. You could also go in and take a more bold color um, lipstick. Um, what I would do if I wanted to use a lipstick is I would use this color by MAC and it is called the Milan Mode. It's a very pretty pink. You can also put a little right on top to give it a little extra um, color. So that is the look that I have created with the NYX Butt Naked Eyes. It's more of a dramatic look. Let me take my hair down so it don't look silly. Buff up my hair. It's more of a dramatic look, but um, I like it. Uh, I like this palette a lot because of the various colors of the eyeshadows. And I didn't even think about using the 
blushes but in uh, another video I will use the blushes it also has a nice highlighter and bronzer um, the blushes are very nice too but I just felt like using my Mac uh, fleet fast because I thought that that would tie this whole look together very nicely so I hope that you enjoyed that um, the person that asked me to do the uh, tutorial which I really just do demos I cannot remember her name I'm so sorry but I will put her link down below she's the one that am um, that uh, requested this so I thank you for requesting that and giving me the idea and I hope that you all are doing well and that you have a great rest of the day I will see you soon take care of yourselves bye bye I am back in all my hurry trying to get my face done and do the look with the NYX butt naked palette I have forgotten to put concealer under my eyes so let me show you how I do that now what I usually do is I use my dream Lumi touch by Maybelline I use it in the color radiant I take it and I twist it up a little bit now this one has got a little gunky on the top so I'm just gonna kind of get a little bit of that off there and twist it again and what I do is I do like a V and I got a little on my nose but that's okay I do a V and I extend it out pretty far then I'm going to take my Clinique foundation brush and I'm just going to pat that in and as I'm patting I'm blending and sort of pushing that in I find for me that if I use this technique it covers the circles much better and it blends better now I will use my finger a little bit too but I will start off with the brush and I want to make sure that I get all into the areas where I get a lot of darkness which is right here here and then I have darkness right here where my brush is now after I do that I just take my clean finger and just tap again then I'm going to take this brush and it's actually just a eyeshadow blending brush by Soho that I got at Walgreens and I'm going to dip a little bit into the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the color medium and I'm just going to lightly go over that to set it now I find that this powder the MAC powder is the best for me for setting because it does not go into the fine lines and it helps that concealer last a very long time so that would have been my last part of or second to last part of how I would have done my face and then after I did that then I would do my lips but what happened was I walked away and then I realized I didn't put concealer on so I wanted to record a little bit of that and I'm adding this on to the end of the video so I hope you enjoyed that and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and thanks so much for your patience on this long video take care bye bye